accurate question is where is the Sun Coast? The Sun Coast is the Gulf Coast of Florida from Marco Island on the south, past Naples and Fort Myers, Sanibel, Captiva, Venice, Sarasota, Tampa St. Pete, Clearwater, and all the way up to Tarpon Spring. Whereas the East Coast these days is pretty much wall-to-wall -wall condominiums, on the West Coast, the Sun Coast of Florida, there are great stretches of empty or deserted beaches. Whereas finding a little solitude and serenity on the empty, beautiful beaches is almost impossible on the East Coast, on the West Coast, it's a snap. In fact, there are any number of virtually deserted beaches that are in clear sight of bustling metropolitan areas. In addition, many of these beaches are already state preserves or state parks, and thus, they will forever be beyond the reach of the hands of the developers. One reason that the beaches were left alone for so long was because the early pioneers who came to this area and settled had a very sincere desire to stay alive and had very little or no interest in the recreational possibilities of the beaches. These early pioneers came to Florida for lots of reasons. Some came in search of the good life, others came to escape the law, and still others came following a religious belief. Certainly the strangest group in this last category was the Khorashan Unity, a group brought to Florida by a religious visionary named Cyrus Reed Teed. Their settlement is now an historic site in the village of Estero. The Khorashan Unity was a celibate commune. They held the very strange notion that the world was actually the inside of a copper sphere 8,000 miles in diameter. The stars and the sun were at the center of this sphere, and one can only wonder what Dr. Teed would have thought had he come back to life just as Neil Armstrong was setting foot on the moon. In any case, he performed a lot of experiments to prove his theology, and the Khorashan unity thrived for a long time. When Teed died, he was buried in a copper bathtub inside a brick crypt on the south end of Estero Island. Very soon thereafter, a hurricane destroyed the crypt, and although the copper bathtub was found, the good doctor never was. Almost as strange, but in a different way, was the founding of a village where we'll start our cruise, and that's Marco Island. In ancient times, Marco had been a major Indian settlement, but sometime during the early days of the century, one Bill Collier and his schooner Falcon took refuge in Big Marco Pass to get out of the way of a major storm. During the same storm, a barge load of cut lumber was washed up onto the shore and Bill Collier, being a dedicated opportunist, took one look at the huge supply of cut lumber and at the two or three miles of empty, deserted, protected waterfront and decided to build a village, which he did. And to nobody's surprise,